What is oxidative stress and why does it matter to metabolic health? That's a really good question. Aside from having a vague idea that antioxidants help to prevent oxidative stress, most of us really don't know what oxidative stress is or what antioxidants do. So let's just jump right into it. First of all, my name's Austin and oxidative stress is a condition in which the body's cells produce too many rogue molecules called reactive oxygen species. I'm gonna be talking a lot about reactive oxygen species, so for the sake of me not having to repeat it over and over again, let's just refer to them as rows. These rows are unstable and react with other molecules in the cell, leading to damage. Here's how. Let's imagine a seesaw for a second, with rows on one side and antioxidants on the other. In an ideal environment, these two exist in a state of balance. Rows become dangerous when they either accumulate, which throw off this state of balance, or when they become entirely depleted, also throwing off this state of balance. That reminds you of another important molecule, huh? Yeah, glucose. Just like glucose, too many or too little rows can have a damaging effect on your metabolism. You see, high concentrations of rows can damage proteins, fats, or nucleic acids found in DNA, which leads to cell death. Especially low concentrations of rows may also derail healthy cell signaling pathways. So if that seesaw tilts too far in either direction, this unbalanced state is called oxidative stress and can eventually lead to disease in the body. A few factors that contribute to the accumulation of rows are chronic overnutrition, poor diet, alcohol consumption, inflammation, stress, cigarette smoke, and pollution. Each of these factors can contribute to oxidative stress in different ways, but when they all conflate to push your body into a state of hyperglycemia, it sets off a cascade of events that leads to more reactive oxygen species within the cells. Interestingly enough, while chronic hyperglycemia can trigger the production of more harmful rows, acute glucose spikes have also been shown to have the same effect. In fact, research on 21 people with type 2 diabetes, published in JAMA, found that blood glucose spikes after eating correlated with signs of rose production. Studies suggest that managing glucose swings can lead to fewer signs of oxidative stress, but that's not the only tool you have at your disposal to protect your cells. Thankfully, we all have an antioxidant defense system that's prepared to neutralize rows before they're able to cause any serious damage to your cells. Antioxidants are enzymes and molecules that seek out and neutralize other molecules that may cause harmful reactions. Something cool that you might not have known is that antioxidants can be formed through certain pathways within cells. Their so-called master regulator is the NRF2 pathway, which is a chain of events that tells the body to switch on specific protective genes. Those genes are then translated into antioxidants that can detoxify and eliminate rows. You can fuel this pathway by eating foods like dark leafy greens, kimchi, and other fermented foods, and anything that supports glutathione production like green tea, lean proteins, salmon, and turmeric. In addition to the antioxidants your body can create through the NRF2 pathway, dietary antioxidants can have a similar effect when consumed through food, which are especially plentiful in fruits and vegetables. That being said, the full impact of dietary antioxidants, especially supplements, is not yet fully understood. While some observational studies show that a diet rich in antioxidants reduces the risk for coronary heart disease, clinical trials have demonstrated lackluster results. That doesn't mean dietary antioxidants don't have a role in fighting disease, but there's still so much more to learn. So it may not be wise to rely completely on dietary antioxidants in your attempts to reduce oxidative stress. While it's certainly helpful to consume foods rich in antioxidants like berries, kiwis, plums, or cherries, maintaining habits that support your natural antioxidant defense system plays a huge role in keeping that seesaw as balanced as possible. Doing things like prioritizing sleep, pursuing stable blood sugar, and exercising can help stave off signs of oxidative stress and distance you further away from complications with your metabolic health. For more information about these rogue electrons and the havoc they can wreak on our systems and our body, check out the full length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. While oxidative stress can seem like an inevitable consequence of living in the modern world, by eating well, maintaining healthy habits, and avoiding some known rose stimulators, it's possible to keep that rose antioxidant balance in check. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.